Three, two, one, action. Mr. Tata, help! The Portable Door is a story of a young boy and a young girl who start the first job at this mysterious firm called JW Wells. And they have no idea what the company does and they're happy to be employed and happy to be off the streets and working. And as they peel back the layers of this company, they find out that, that they're this ancient organization that's been curating magic and coincidence the world over for centuries. And they're thrown into this run adventure to basically save the world and become who they're meant to be. Well, Christoph, whilst joining our cast, change you know the course of this project. You know, without his enthusiasm and his passion for it, you know, the film wouldn't have got made. Christoph Waltz was a dream come true. We just wanted someone with extreme presence on screen. What could be more fun than playing Dennis? I did pitch him the role as a shape-shifting goblin stuck in middle management. I don't really know anybody who's more well cast as a goblin. I definitely haven't seen him in a role like that. And it's the naughtiest I've ever seen him on set. And that was delightful. It's very much set in contemporary London, but we do have this corporation which is run by goblins and wizard pro-production. That sort of opened the doors to us introducing a lot of different styles, the different genres, a lot of different periods to try and elevate the vision and the, the aesthetic behind what is J.W. Wells and Co. Everyone at Henson fell in love with the idea of bringing these books to life and making it be a very special film that will stand together with Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, and all the wonderful projects from Hansen. For more behind the scenes from the Stan original film, The Portable Door, click here and subscribe.